morning and welcome to vlogmas day 10 well it's sunday today so generally that means not a lot happens on the sunday <laughs> it's usually my day for catching up on any jobs in the house cleaning maybe doing a bit of baking or something you see i've got my scarf on i'm cold today <laughs> So I'm trying to wrap up warm. Um, yeah, so I don't know. There's not going to be a lot I can actually share today. You, you don't really want to see me running the vacuum around the house and on my hands and knees getting the cat fur up off the carpet, as I have to do nearly every day. Oh, Bramble, I think she would molt just permanently. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know. Uh, so... Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to start off with my advent today. Um, so it's the QR code today. And I've had a look at it so I can actually tell you what it is for a change. <laughs> so it is a QR code and it's Andrea from The Pink Door doing the little tutorial today. And it's all about um, a burrito style scrunchie and infinity scarf which i've made scrunchies before and i've made infinity scarves before but i've never done the burrito way so that's going to be interesting so i'm looking forward to watching that as it's funny really because i was thinking i could do with making myself um a burrito well not a burrito i should say uh, an infinity scarf because i could do with a new one as i've got some sherpa fleece in stock in the shop and i've also got some polar fleece and i thought if i can find some leftover jersey that i've got i don't know if i've got anything left over from this top but i could make myself a nice cozy infinity scarf that i can just get all snuggled up in while i'm at work so yeah so that's i'm going to watch that later and then we'll see I keep saying I'm going to be making all these things next week. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going to have a lot of things to make next week. I don't know. Um, but I will be making one at some point. Let's just say that. Um, I did have a bit of a uh, nice post yesterday. I sent for a little thing off Etsy. This is something for me to do in the new year. And I'm really looking forward to it. So this is a little... I suppose it's a little kit, but there's no embroidery threads in it or anything. And this comes from West Coast Stitchery on Etsy. So it came all nicely wrapped. And what you get, actually I'll just pop the box down in a minute. Get a hoop, 10 inch hoop. And I've got some embroidery fabric, which has been printed. And it's a cotton linen fabric. And it's a flower a day wheel now this looks really nice it's not too big and it's uh, a month on there you know it's a month so uh, you can buy this just as a piece of piece of cotton and the pattern so you can trace it out yourself but there's quite a lot of um, detail on there and I just thought, you know, I can't be bothered to have to trace this out myself. So I decided to buy the little kit of the um, frame and the piece of fabric. Now this cost £10 for this, for the, the, for the kit. And if you buy just the piece of fabric on its own and the pattern, I think that's £6. Plus obviously postage on top. So come january now i haven't got a color picture to show you but i've seen a color picture on etsy somewhere and i've just been back on to have a look to see if i could find a picture so i could just insert it but i can't find anything even in the the book uh there's nothing in here of a you know no color picture so i don't know where i've seen it at all which is a bit frustrating but that's how it looks in the book so you can do it like the knitted and crocheted temperature blankets where you have like a, a collar per month 
or you can do it as a mood tracking so decide on which moods you like to track and assign each a colour so that, that's that's good but I want it as a, a temperature one so I'm going to have fun sorting out my embroidery flosses for this ready for January I mean it's all very simple stitches because you, you can see by the patterning it's it's all I think we're fo are we focusing I think we're focusing it's all very simple like little patterns and little flower well little circles and things like that so let's see if it does tell you what stitches we're doing we're doing lazy daisy stitches french knots pistil stitches that's i've never heard of that one that's a long stitch with like a it looks like a little a little french knot at the end and then there's like a woven wheel you can do so that that sounds good so i will share my progress throughout the year i'm gonna to have to be good and just stick to doing one segment a month because i know i'll get carried away otherwise but having said that i have got other things to do so that is my one bit of nice post that i've had this weekend and yeah i've done my advent calendar so now i'm going to have to lovely leave you and go and get back to the few jobs i've got to do in the house so what I am going to share with you now is I'm going to make pizza. Now my intention was to make pizza and put in the freezer ready for Christmas afternoon tea. So I'm not actually making it on Christmas afternoon. And unfortunately, I've only got wholemeal flour, not white bread flour. So that's out of the question now. So but Jake's come down and he says oh we're we having pizza for tea tonight and I said no we wasn't but it looks like we are now so I'm going to make up a whole whole meal whole meal one but the last time I did a whole meal pizza the base did not cook at all it was like eating raw dough and it was in the oven for ages so I think this time I'm going to do two pizzas out of the the batch and make sure it's really thin and i'm going to cook it part well partly cook it the base before i actually put any topping on and hopefully it will turn out okay so i'm going to have to now make sure i get some white bread flour in my shopping this week and then i'll be able to do the pizzas for for the tea for christmas day <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. So I mean, over over this next week, I am going to be making some biscoff ice cream, obviously the pizza and the nut loaves. So I'm going to be pretty busy this week. So I will leave you with the the bit of footage of the pizza making, and fingers crossed, I don't burn them <laughs> because I would have a tendency to overdo it sometimes. So I hope everybody has a lovely Sunday, whatever you're doing. Um, whether you're getting some crafting done, which if you are, you're lucky. <laughs> I never seem to get to craft on a Sunday. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow. So take care everyone and have a lovely day. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.